Om. That universal sound of oneness. Welcome to Growing Edge Live. So glad that you're here. And my name's Ali Benjamin. And there's Ben. Hello. I'd love to know where you're watching from. Where are you sitting today? Because we are, no matter where we are, we're together in love. We're together in oneness. And together today, we're going to explore what miracles are and how to unleash them in our lives to have wonderful, tangible results of joy and love and abundance. So let's get going with a little grounding meditation, closing the outer eyes and moving within, moving into the heart, moving into that space that is immeasurable, the center of this inner space is everywhere and the circumference is nowhere and all that means is there's only one only one thing happening this thing called life it's happening in the now moment the past is over the future is yet to come and so all we have is this moment. And when we can bring our awareness, our attention into the moment, into this time and space, there's a deep sense of relax. If you can truly surrender to the moment and let all of the thoughts let the surface mind just be still and you bring all of your awareness into this moment. Surrender to it completely. There is peace. The peace that passes all understanding. And this is what I call God. This precious all-abiding, all-encompassing presence that we experience in consciousness. We can feel it as love. We are guided by it through our innate wisdom. Universal wisdom is available to us when we stay present, available to the moment. And so let's take a breath together, inhaling, exhaling, relaxing, and gently opening the eyes and being fully present. Good morning and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about Miracles Unleashed. And I've been doing some reading on miracles and I have one of my best friends is a teacher of A Course in Miracles. And so we've been having some discussions and some debates, some heated conversations about the nature of the universe and what is a miracle? And so A Course in Miracles says the underlying premise is the greatest miracle is the act of simply gaining a full awareness of love's presence. Now I can't debate that. That to me sounds true. That when we can get a full awareness of love's presence, what that says to me is I am love's presence. You are love's presence. We're all love's presence. And that that is all there really is. When we see beyond the, the world, the world of things, the world of form, the this and that, and we get down to what it really is that we're doing here, what this human experience is all about, it's about feeling love and feeling our essential nature as being a witness to the comings and goings 
of life around us. It doesn't mean that we're not impacted and affected by everything that's going on around us, but it means that we don't have to be carried away. We don't have to be so deeply impacted in what's happening, whether it be something really hard, difficult, something that we struggle with and find challenging, or something that's amazing and wonderful. Everything that's occurring is transitory. It's always coming and going. And so as we can take that perspective and be in the awareness that we're here to love, that's a miracle. That's being able to transcend this egoic kind of illusory experience we're having and dive deeply into to the 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 richness and the miracle that life really is. But this isn't easy. This is really hard because this illusion, this life, this world of form, this transitory coming and going, the past that happened and, and the future that's coming sometimes feels so real and so overwhelming that it's hard not to be fully rooted in that. And so I think this life, this experience is both and. It's about experiencing all of this life, the craziness, the awful stuff that's going on in countries around the world, in the Ukraine today, it's and blessings and peace to all of the beings that are struggling right now due to what's happening in these war-torn countries and regions of the world. It's so hard not to be consumed with all of that. And so the very best we can do is to send our love, our prayers, our awareness, our financial support. And it feels so real sometimes that it's hard to remember that the most powerful thing we can do is to remain in love. And that isn't easy. You know, many of us have a lot of burdens in our hearts. A lot of us can't reach a stage of love or a level of love or a love's presence because we're holding on to hurts, to wounds. We, we're not forgiving of the past. And this is a human condition. This is something that our surface mind is pretty entrenched in, addicted to, I'd say. We hold on to what happened and we don't let it go. And that is a problem for us in self-realization or spiritual awakening because it, it's as though all of these things that we haven't forgiven sort of keep, keep a cork on the miracles coming bubbling up into the surface of life. The unforgiveness keeps us from experiencing the richness and the fullness that occur when we simply forgive when we let go of the past, when we no longer think that the past needed to be any different than the way it was. This is a tactic, a strategy, a habit, a practice of the ego. We hold on to things and that is the thing that keeps us from fully waking up. And if you're watching this, that's probably one of your main objectives in life is to wake up, is to have a closer walk with the divine, to have greater self-awareness, a realization of the miracles that life is. I think it was Einstein that said, we can see that miracles don't exist or we can see that Everything is a miracle. The fact that we're here breathing, alive, incarnated into this, this body, it's a miracle. And we are miracle makers. And so forgiveness really is, forgiveness says to me that we are, each of us, are forgiving, for giving. We're not for holding on to resentments. We're here for giving our love, for giving our joy, for giving our support, for giving our kindness and caring. So we're here. We can learn about forgiveness 
as we start letting go of the past, we start letting go of those grudges and those hurts and we start simply giving. If you start giving, and I'm talking about giving of your love, your kind, your time, your attention, your resources, as you start this infinity loop of the law of give and take, the law of attraction, the law of reciprocity, the law that says the more I give, the more I receive, the more love I give, the more love I realize. And love doesn't come necessarily from the outside. Love is experienced when love is experienced. Love is experienced from the inside out. A Course in Miracles says the underlying premise is that the greatest miracle is the act of simply gaining full awareness of love's presence. So we're gaining full awareness of love's presence as ourselves. So what are you looking for? This is a question to ask yourself because in this beautiful unfolding miracle of life, we get to ask ourselves moment by moment, what am I looking for? What am I looking at? Because what I found is many of us are looking for a problem. Many of us are looking for what's wrong. Now, this is, there's a subtle shift in our awareness. We can shift from that fear-based thinking that there's something wrong, that there's something missing, that there's something a problem to a shift in consciousness that there's something right, there's something beautiful, there's something wonderful that wants to happen in my life and I'm going to be looking for that. I'm going to be paying attention to that. Because when we look for miracles, that's what we experience. We experience ourselves as a miracle and we experience life as a miracle and we move up into the higher realms of, of life. We transcend the world of duality and us and them and the world of fear. And we make that shift in consciousness from fear to love. And that is how we unleash miracles. Because when we're presencing love, when we're asking ourselves moment by moment, what would love do here? What is the most loving thing I can do? I can be. I can experience. Our, our eyes begin to open and we begin to see the gifts and the miracles that are happening all around us. And we begin to see and feel ourselves as a miracle. Now, why is this important? Because this, this love language is the language of God, is the language of the universe, is the language that we must occupy and speak and the lens through which we must see in order to heal ourselves, in order to have meaningful, long-lasting relationships. In, and I mean relationships with all areas of life, not just our personal relationships. When we're vibrating at love instead of fear and doubt and uncertainty and criticism and unforgiveness and all those heavy things, those words, they all describe a particular way of being that feels heavy, that feels like a burden that drags us down and keeps us stuck at a level or a frequency of discord. We're not tuning in to the most beneficial frequency which will ensure our healing, our wholeness, and our evolution in consciousness. Because when we're down at those lower frequencies, we're just regurgitating the same old sad, stor sorry story. And then we're attracting the same old experience. Now you might argue with me and say, no, I'm always having a different experience. Well, I can pretty much guarantee if you're vibrating at a level of discontent, of disappointment, 
if that's how you see life, and we've all been there, I frequent those places, unfortunately. But when we're there, what we experience is that. And so it's, it's, it's simple, but it's not easy to, to have this understanding. But when we're in discontent, we're going to see the world as unsatisfying. And we're going to be discontent with it. We're going to have expectations of something more, but we're not going to get there because we're vibrating at a frequency that doesn't match the universal, quick, dynamic laws that say like attracts like and bring in love and bring in joy and bring in creativity and peace and innovation and deep, meaningful, juicy, passionate, loving relationships. We have to move beyond the habit of being complainers, being grumblers, being discontent, being critical, judgmental. All of that is something that I hope you're, you're losing interest in. Because miracles are unleashed when we're vibrating at the frequency of love. And we can get there by, and you've heard me talk about this, I'm sure, changing our thinking, choosing positive, empowering thoughts. And yes, that is absolutely key to living a happy, abundant, prosperous, healthy life. Our thoughts, positive thoughts, Affirmative thoughts, empowering thoughts are absolutely, they're a given. That's a must in the world if you're looking to, to find lasting joy, if you're looking to take life on a joyride. But one of the best ways to heal at a deep level, to heal these, these temptations to sink down into victimhood, is to look at your feelings, to embrace your feeling nature, because your feelings above all else will lead you into where you need to look, where you need to focus your attention, what you're trying to avoid and what you're trying to push away, all under the, the, um, the, the, the awareness that you're on a spiritual path, maybe you're doing a spiritual bypass, you're not willing to look at those, some of those darker natures or those shadows, but really it's looking at our feelings, embracing the difficulties that you might be, might be experiencing. That is a way into true healing because our feelings buried alive, stay alive. So we have to look at what we're feeling with great compassion, with great empathy, and love ourselves through all of those challenging feelings. I came across this wonderful poem by Jeff Foster, and it goes like this. When you are crying, friend, forget why you're crying and just let the tears flow. When you are laughing, forget the reason for laughter and laugh anyway. When you are angry, just for a moment, forget what made you angry and honor, even celebrate the raw, burning, throbbing sensations in your body. Come closer, be present, honor what is alive in you. Let powerful energies move without a story, without blame, without judgment, without resistance. Yet, Allow resistance too, if that is what's alive in you. Know yourself as life. The unconditional space for it all. The unconditional space for it all. Thank you, Jeff Foster. So we get to let all those feelings in and we get to experience them, but we get to see that we don't have to create a story about them. Oh, I'm feeling hurt. Oh, well, that's due to the fact that so-and-so said such-and-such. Story. Oh, I'm feeling unhealthy. 
oh, that's because it's in my genetics and that's because that doctor gave me the wrong story. When we feel something, just feel it. Maybe you feel, I'm not feeling well in my body today. What is this? What is this feeling for me? What is this pain? What is this disease? What is this diagnosis? What is this hurt? And we simply just let it be fresh and alive in the now moment without dragging in the past, without building up a story around why things got to be they were the way they were, because that doesn't matter. Remember, we're forgiving. We're letting go of the past. It doesn't matter. It's not relevant because the conversation that the universe understands, the language that the universe understands is love, is being grateful, is being respectful, is being kind, being curious, being present to the mysteries that abound. Because when we're consumed with our stories, when we're consumed with the past, when we're consumed with what's old and worn out and bothersome and tiresome and a burden, quite frankly, that's what we'll experience as ourself, as other people, and as life. Set yourself free. There's a miracle occurring right now, and it's you. There's a miracle occurring right now. It's this thing called life. And this thing called life is a creative flow of energy that wants to be born by means of you in every moment. You let life loose through your love. You give form to the love of the universe. You give form to the love of life through your words, through your actions, through your generosity. Don't let the past bog you down. Forgive it. Let it go. Don't let something that happened yesterday or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 plus years ago, don't let that bother or color the forms of miracles that are occurring every day in the present moment. Chuck them out. Throw them away because you are forgiving you're forgiving the miracle of life and paying it forward. You're not for carrying around those things that don't mean anything anymore. They were just for your growth. They were just for you to heal. It's time. It's time. So that's my message today. It's all about forgiving. It's all about unleashing miracles. It's all about you realizing you're a miracle. And it's all about love. So if you've enjoyed this message and you'd like to support our ministry, you can go to our website, Satya Live, S-A-T-Y-A, L-I-V-E, live.org, and you can donate there, or you can Venmo us at Satya Center. So we're going to do a little activation. We're going to ground this in and light you up, activate this into your consciousness into consciousness right now. So closing the outer eyes and taking a breath and place your hand on your heart and just acknowledge that you've received something today. Something's happened inside you. You've taken this time to be here. You've given yourself the gift of presence in this moment to be the miracle you came here to be. You've given yourself a moment to shift in consciousness from fear to faith, from fear, to love. And it's happening right now in this one, this one life, this one power, this one presence, this thing called God, this thing called life that each of us are individualized expressions of, expressing beautifully, perfectly, exactly how we are. There are no mistakes. We're all perfect, whole, and complete right now. We are constantly expressing having access to the unlimited possibilities and potentialities that God is, that the miracle of life is, and we simply open up and say yes to it now. We say yes to what's possible for us. We say yes to what's occurring, to what wants to come forward in our lives, and we let go. We say thank you, but no more to to struggle, 
No more to complaining. No more to victimhood. And we say yes to our sovereignty. Yes to having unconditional love for life. For having compassion and empathy for not only ourselves, but to everyone and everything, knowing that we're all doing the best that we can. And we simply embrace each other in love. We speak a prayer of peace for each and every being on this planet. We send love around the globe, knowing that our prayers, our thoughts, our wishes for peace have an impact that we are calling upon humanity to wake up, to take a shift, make a shift in consciousness, to move from fear, to move from the acquisition of things and power and trying to control, to moving into the place of our divine essence, which is saying we are powerful beyond measure and our power is our love, our power is our light. And we simply broadcast it unwavering, consciously, continuously broadcasting, radiating our luminescence, our radiance out into the world, lifting up everything and everyone around us. Feel it now. Feel it now. Relax your arms and send a prayer out around this globe that all beings without exception be free, be free from victimhood. And all beings without, without limit, embrace oneness, wholeness, love, wonder, beauty, joy, now and always, in all ways. I know this is done. It is so. This prayer is good. Life is good. All is well. And together we say, and so it is. Peace and blessings, everyone. Lots of love to you. See you next Sunday.